Hey, how's it going? So, first of all, thank you for your comments and uh, all the encouragement from the last video. I totally appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, it just kind of put some, some wind in my sails for sure. This is going really good. But I will say it's a pile of work. And I'm just trying to take it piece by piece by piece by piece. But there's a lot of pieces, holy moly. The further I get into it, the more it's like, oh, I gotta do that too, and that too. Oh, and now I gotta do that. Ugh. But I'm encouraged, don't get me wrong. It's turning out okay. So, first thing first, I uh, just wanna talk about PVC expanded foam board. This is three millimeters thick. It's rigid, you can cut it with a hobby knife. It takes like three passes. It can be heat formed, it can be drilled, it can be sanded, but it's not styrene, it's PVC. I bought this here in Atlantic Canada under the brand name Sintra. I bought a 4x8 sheet of it for 60 bucks. So over there I've got almost 4x8, what's that, 32 square feet? So I've got all kinds of it. And uh, it won't glue it to me extra thin, it glues with, uh, it glues with um, super glue and works really good. So this, I'm building my internal structure. So I got a pattern made. This is a PVC board, but I got this line or this shape based on Joshua Maruska's plans. I'll put a link to those underneath. <coughs> Scaled it to the MPC Falcon, and then I was able to pull this line out in Corel Draw. It's a vector file, so if you use Illustrator or whatever, you can get that shape. I made a master. I cut eight or ten ribs and then I glued them all inside. It ain't pretty, but it's working. Okay. So just everywhere that I saw the hull needed a little pull, and then now it's quite a bit more curvy. If you compare it to the bottom, which I have yet to do, That's kind of a good representation there. That compared... Well, it's hard to say. It's not hard to say, hard to show. Because it's not sitting flat. But you can see it's quite a difference. And the real, the proof is in these here. So these are the... The hatchways, or what are they called? I forget now. So basically, I also had to take all the sides off those because they're too short once you cut it. And instead of just trying to fill that with putty, I thought I'll just rebuild them. So with that said, I'm adding backing in there. And then that gives me something for this scratch built wall to sit on. I don't even know if I follow me. Follow me? Which is like that. Now that's just cardstock. I'm working out the pattern, but that's going to sit there. Eh, something like that. They're still going to have to be putty, but... And then I'm going to have to replace the armor plating on there, the greebly on there, which I have... You can see progress all the time. The jaw box, we'll talk about that next time because I think I kind of goofed on it. I might have to scratch build that again too. I did take away the paneling here on both sides so I can build that up. See, everything's molded together, so when you cut off a piece, you're losing the curve of the knife, and then some. And, I don't know, you could putty it, I guess, but I hate working with that stuff. So I'm just going to build it in, scratch build it in again. Yeah. So I guess that's kind of all the update. Oh, of course, because the angles changed, the, the seat for the radar dish is different now, too. So that had to go. <laughs> And I thinned everything, like all behind, in behind all of these holes, so it's more to scale. So it's basically a project that, once you get your head wrapped around it, it's not totally like difficult as far as technique goes. It doesn't take long to get good at shaving plastic down to the point where you can run a Dremel within a millimeter or even less. Like, I'm doing a lot of that with the Dremel. Once you get the feel for the tool, you know, you can, you can work with a real small uh, margin of error there. 
yeah, it's fun. But it's going good. So my weekly update is just a boring talking head video. I'm just into the build. I'm not really setting up the camera and shooting stuff. But uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments and I'll either answer them on the spot or include it in the next video if it's more of a show and tell type of question. But yeah, so far so good. There's not much piping left. I took that off too that goes up into the dish so all that's going to be like nice 3D piping which is going to look good. But everything I do there's a you know there's a consequence I guess every piece that you move you're gonna have to replace it somehow and it, it's it's all gonna take a lot of time even here when I'm building up the inside of this I have to keep in mind that that's the walkway which I have to scratch the interior of that too so I'm looking at this backing I added and it's like Ew, is that gonna interfere with you know Whew, it's a lot of work but like I said it's going good I'm totally totally encouraged and I get to come down here and work on it whenever half an hour at lunchtime and sometimes about an hour hour and a half in the evening so just slow and steady wins the race yeah so I think that's all I wanted to cover and uh, thanks for watching God bless and uh, check out the Northview model shop on Facebook Jan has a pretty cool thing going on there, and he does a Wednesday night live build. He does a Sunday night, which gets released about Monday morning, weekly gossip on the whole hobby community here. So, uh, yeah, check that out, the Northview Model Shop. And that's it for me. I'll be back again with another update. I'm just going to keep slinging plastic. All right, later.